So the fresh new OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro are about to hit the UK, boasting the latest Oxygen OS 10.5 software. Now OnePlus's Oxygen OS UI is absolutely crammed full of clever features and nifty little tools to make your life that little bit more bearable. And this tips and tricks guide will show you basically how to make the most of some of those best bits. So here's how to get started with your shiny new OnePlus 8 smartphone, whether you go for the standard model or the Pro, and some of my favourite features packed away in there. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, you've spunked up your cache on your shiny new OnePlus 8. Now you want to copy across all your messages, your apps, your important stuff from your old smartphone to the new one. You are actually given the option of doing this during the OnePlus 8 setup process using the Google app, but if you want to do it later once the phone is already fully set up, no worries, just go into your apps tray and then scroll down and find the OnePlus Switch app. Note that you'll also need to download OnePlus Switch onto your old phone in order to get this to work. And that's not a problem, you'll find it right there in the Google Play Store and of course it's completely free to download and install. And all you need to do is open up OnePlus Switch on the old phone, hit I'm a new phone on the OnePlus 8. In this case, the old phone is an Android, and then just scan that QR code. And now we're forming a connection and we'll be able to copy all of our lovely stuff over. You can choose exactly what you want to copy. So for instance, you can copy across all of your old camera photos and home movies, your messages, your contacts, very handy indeed. And of course your applications as well. You can actually select which applications you want to copy across. If you decide you don't need some of them anymore, just to save a bit of storage space on your new OnePlus 8. And the same goes with your photos, your videos, your documents, everything else. Now the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro support very different displays as well, which you'll know if you go check out my full in-depth 8 versus Pro comparison. But whichever one you choose, you can customize it to suit your own personal preferences. All you've got to do is head into the OnePlus 8 settings menu and then tap on display. If you head to the advanced section, that's where you can play around with the refresh rate. Now you'll notice that the standard OnePlus 8, it's set to 90 hertz by default. If you decide you don't want that silky smooth experience, you'd rather have stronger battery life instead, knock that down to 60 hertz. Although when set to 90 hertz, the OnePlus 8 can actually dynamically switch between 60 and 90 anyway, depending on what you're actually doing with the smartphone, just to preserve battery life when it's not needed. Of course, if you've got the OnePlus 8 Pro, you'll find that 90 hertz is boosted to 120 hertz instead but basically the same sort of setup you've also got the option of choosing the resolution here on the oneplus 8 pro as well because it's a quad hd plus panel you can bump that down though to full hd plus at any point but if you do decide you'd like some super crisp quad hd plus action then no worries at all you'll find that when you turn this on you get this auto power saving option also popping up and this basically allows the oneplus 8 pro to make an executive decision and bump down to full hd plus when you don't need that super sharp resolution here on the oneplus 8 pro you get another display setting that you do not get on the standard oneplus 8 as well and that is motion graphics smoothen and what this is is a very clever bit of software that can actually boost the frame rate on content played through the likes of YouTube, Netflix and Prime Video just to make it look that little bit smoother. I've been testing this out and it definitely seems to work well with anything involving predictable motion so for instance a ball moving across a football pitch, a bit of panning in a nature documentary something like that. For the likes of an action film where the motion is a bit more unpredictable it doesn't seem to have much impact. But I'd definitely stick it on if you watch a lot of video on those supported services and try it out. And if like me you often find yourself on your smartphone at 2am then definitely check out the OnePlus 8 night mode makes the color temperature a bit warmer so it's less strain on your eyes and you can have this turn on automatically between sunset and sunrise you don't have to manually stick it on every single time and if for whatever reason you find that that pinhole selfie camera really offends you you do not like staring at it at all then once again in that advanced section you can go to front camera display area and you can actually hide it from view what this does is it bumps down the status bar and everything else just puts a nice big black bar across the top to mask it as much as humanly possible and also gives your oneplus 8 smartphone a more pixel sort of appearance. Now one of the best aspects of Oxygen OS has always been the customization. You can personalize pretty much every part of it to get it to suit your own personal tastes. Some of this customization can be accessed by pinching in on your desktop. So you can of course add widgets and all sorts to the background, change the wallpapers. And if you tap on home settings, you've got a few different options there for changing the general layout and playing around with the likes of the apps drawer as well. And that menu is also where you'll be able to play around with the swipe gestures as well. So for instance, the ability to swipe down to reveal the notifications bar, which is definitely particularly 
handy if you opt for the Mighty Pro version and the ability to swipe right in order to access the Discover window. Yep, there's no more shelf, just a good bit of Discover action, which is basically a never-ending stream of news, reports, videos, things that you might be interested in. You'll also find plenty more customization options if you dive into the settings and, unsurprisingly, go to Customization. And here, for instance, you can play around with the colors of the UI elements. You can also mess around with the icon styles and designs, and you can also, if you dive into tone, change between the light theming and get a bit of that dark mode action on the go as well. Quick tap there, and bosh, we are now dark modified. And this won't just affect your settings, menus, and everything as well. Quite a lot of your apps will also appear with that dark theming as well. Now got great support than ever before. And on the subject of that dark mode, try going into the settings and then heading down to utilities, and then followed by OnePlus Laboratory. And you should see an option in here that says enable dark tone in more apps. What this basically does is forces dark mode on some apps that don't currently support it here in Oxygen OS, such as the likes of WhatsApp and Reddit, whatever else you've got installed as well. So try activating that. And so far, TouchWord seems to be working absolutely fine. Now, while I'm obviously a bit of a fan of the geeky anime wallpapers here on my smartphones, one of the fresh new features in Oxygen OS 10.5 is the option of sticking on a motion wallpaper now. This fresh batch will bring your smartphone to life in the background there as you turn it on and flick around through your desktops. If you want to get involved with the motion wallpapers, it's nice and easy. Just pinch on your desktops, head to wallpaper, and you scroll along, there's a selection of motion wallpapers all clearly marked with a spangly little logo in the top left corner. If one grabs your fancy, just give it a tap, and then don't forget to hit the tick up top as well. And then bosh, your wallpaper is installed and ready for action. Nice. Now, great news if you're a fan of the Google Assistant, because both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro seem to be completely in love with it. There is a crazy number of ways to call up the Google Assistant on these smartphones. So, for instance, you can swipe right, and then it's right there at the top. You can say, OK, Google. You can swipe up from either bottom corner of the display. You can pull open the apps tray and, of course, tap on the Assistant app icon. And finally, you can actually hold down the OnePlus 8's power button, and that also will call up the Google Assistant now too. Seriously, OnePlus, obsessed, utterly obsessed. The power button option can actually be tweaked if you go into settings and then find somewhere in here, buttons and gestures. And you'll see in there that one of the options is press and hold the power button, and the default is to call up the voice assistant. However, if you don't want the voice assistant to be called up at all, you can instead get it to bring up the power menu to allow you to actually shut down or restart the smartphone. And if you actually use a voice assistant other than Google, then the good news is you can just go to voice assistant and you can actually choose a different one that you have installed on there. So for instance, if you've downloaded the Alexa app, you can choose to have Alexa as your default assistant instead. Now the new OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro boast bigger batteries than ever before, and if you Clamp up for the Pro version as well, you'll also find you've got a nice bit of wireless charging and reverse wireless charging too. That reverse wireless charging is particularly handy if you've got an accessory like a pair of true wireless earbuds which are Qi compatible. All you need to do to set this up is head into the OnePlus 8 settings menu, go to battery, and you'll find the reverse charge section in there. If you turn this on, you'll instantly be able to start sharing your battery power here on the OnePlus 8 Pro with whatever you've got lying around. Both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro have an optimized charging feature hidden away in that battery settings as well. This is actually turned off by default, but I highly recommend activating it. If you leave your OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 8 Pro plugged in and charging overnight, this is a great little feature. What it'll do is it'll learn your charging habits, work out when you generally wake up in the morning and unplug the smartphone. And what it'll do then is trickle charge the smartphone for that final sort of 10% or so until it's full just before you wake up. This will basically prevent your smartphone from being plugged in while at 100% for several hours every night, which in the long term can really cause harm to your battery and minimize the amount of battery life that you get from a full charge. Now, one feature that's back in action here in Oxygen OS 10.5 on the OnePlus 8, and very great indeed if you want a bit of digital detox action, is the Zen mode. But you won't find the Zen mode hidden away in your notification shortcuts to begin with. What you'll have to do is actually edit it by tapping the pencil icon, and then if you scroll along, you'll find the Zen mode buried way in there, you'll need to drag and drop it into the notification shortcuts and now you'll have fast access. And if you find you're in dire need of just shutting out the entire world and just staying away from everything and everyone for a good couple of hours or so, maybe to spend some time with a loved one instead, or maybe just enjoy a nice bit of Netflix box set action, I highly recommend getting that Zen mode on the go. With the Zen mode active, you'll only be able to access phone calls and the camera for however long you specify. Definitely great for a bit of isolation. And anyone who likes a nice bit of PUBG, Fortnite, 
anything like that, would be very pleased to see the GameSpace app is back in action too. This not only provides a nice little scrollable GUI for all of your games, but it'll also give you a resource boost while you're gaming as well. Not that you really need it here on the OnePlus 8 or the OnePlus 8 Pro with that Snapdragon 865 and 8 to 12 gigs of RAM. There's also a graphics optimization feature, but far more useful is the notifications block, and which is particularly handy if you're going to be playing a bit of PUBG Mobile. The last thing you want is your NAN texting you just as you're in the middle of a frantic gunfight. And if you're going to be doing a lot of online game and definitely recommend the Fnatic mode, what this can do is basically ensure that your game is priority. Everything else in the background is quietened down so it's not hogging your network resources, all of your precious bandwidth. So that right there is my OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro tips and tricks guide. Just to run through some of my favourite features here on Oxygen OS 10.5. But that's not the be all and end all. If you are still struggling a little bit with OnePlus 8 or Pro, or you just want to find out about some other features you might not know about, there are a couple of ways of doing it actually through the phone itself. First of all, dive into settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll find a tips and support section. And this basically answers a lot of frequently asked questions that the OnePlus support team get quite a lot of and also gives you some little tips and tricks as well. Alternatively, if you open up the app store, you'll find the community app stuck away in there. And of course, OnePlus has a fantastic community full of people who are very, very friendly, very helpful and very willing to give you all of the support that you need. So if you've got any questions, comments, worries, anything like that, just dive on into the forums and there will be lots of people in there who are willing to help. If you want to know more about these bloody lovely handsets, definitely go check out my full OnePlus 8 and my OnePlus 8 Pro unboxings, which include a full extensive tour of all the hardware. I've also done camera reviews, comparisons, all kinds of shenanigans right here on TechSpurn. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you.